Hello and welcome to the Master Plumber SEO update for May. Firstly, I want to thank and congratulate everyone who attended the New Zealand Plumbing Conference in Tekina, Wellington. We had a wonderful event. It was great to see all our members, our business partners over the three days of the conference. We had some exceptional speakers with Sir Wayne Smith, Melissa Clark Reynolds, and obviously our ministers, Chris Pink and Penny Simmons, who attended the conference. Having engagement with our members, our business partners and wider industry is the critical part and we really hope you enjoyed. I do want to give a special shout out to our award winners on Friday night at the Plumbing World New Zealand Plumbing Awards. It was a real special night to recognise industry leaders, but to particularly Andrew and the team from Auckland Plumbers Group who won Master Plumbers of the Year. Phoebe, who is an amazing advocate for diversity, won the Woman in Plumbing, and Martin DeGal, who won the Graham Victor Smith Award for his contribution to the industry. These are just a snapshot of the many winners on the night where we celebrate the success of our wonderful industry. I really do want to thank our three key sponsors, being Maiko for the opening night, Marley for their wonderful event at Te Papa and the dress up that we had, and of course Plumbing World, who have been our long-term partner for the awards night. We can't do this without our business partners and the contribution you make to the industry is just simply outstanding, so thank you so much. On advocacy updates, really pleasing seeing Minister Pink committing to self-certification for plumbers and drain lars. We now need to see how that works in practical terms and we'll be having meetings with NB and other officials to ensure the implementation is done in a timely manner. There was good debate with Minister Simmons around the tertiary education and what we need for vocational education. We're probably not going to see that announcement until mid-year, but I can assure you we're doing a lot of work behind the scenes to make sure our voice of the industry is heard and the critical parts that we see for plumbing, drain laying and gas fitting is really addressed in the apprentice regime. There's a lot of work also happening regionally. We've still got ongoing issues with Wellington Water in making sure that they can recognise plumbers to be suitably qualified to work on the water network and sort out the disaster situation of the amount of leaks we have across Wellington and then some other areas that will occur. Finally, MB have put a consultation out regarding removing lead and plumbing products with the potential to extend that date to May 2026. We've submitted our feedback on that and we'll wait to keep you updated as soon as we have an outcome. But ultimately, we want lead out of plumbing products and the drinking water. We know this is going to occur, but we need to do that in a timely manner that manages merchant stocks and suppliers and can be enforced. And so we'll be making sure that we can have good engagement with our suppliers, our merchants and MB so this is done in a practical terms. So on member benefits, we've got a new offer for members, which is a budget rent a car. It's focusing on commercial vans, trucks and utes. It's a really good offer for members so if you are having to use rentals for temporary work or for repairs of your own vans or utes make sure you look at the Master Plumbers website because it's a really good offer that's come through from budget. We've got some really good events happening across the Motu particularly around Hutt Valley. They've got a Mayor's Forum that's starting with a breakfast and there's some other events happening in Northern and across the country so it's really good to see that we're getting local engagement. On training for members we've got some good courses running particularly the gas refresher has been really popular but also we've now got a new course in partnership with Duncan Cottrell our commercial lawyers regarding HR and the real problems that businesses can field with employees and how you can work through that. So if you're interested in that course please reach out to Lisa Dustin and she's coordinating those courses across the country for you. So just on general updates for Master Plumbers and Masterlink. Firstly I'd like to Congratulate Scott Pierce from Auckland as our new elected board member and Ashley Carter from Wanaka as our new board intern. In particular, congratulations to Grayson Allen from Hawke's Bay who takes over the presidency role from John Lewis. And I know that Grayson will do a great job around engagement across all the branches and associations. I also want to give a special shout out to our wonderful apprentice, Maria Contreras Huerta from Morrinsville Plumbing. She won the Plumbing World Scholarship on our awards night, but also has had great men coverage through Radio New Zealand and particularly Seven Sharp. It's a great example of what our industry represents and also showing that diversity can offer amazing opportunities 
for not only business owners, but the young people coming into our industry. So thank you, Maria, you did a wonderful job and we're all so, so proud of you. So finally from me, thank you again, all the attendees at conference. Just a quick reminder, we're going into the colder months. We're starting to get some snow, particularly in the South Island. And that means we need to be conscious about our employers and workers with different kind of work gear and making sure particularly their driving is safe across New Zealand. Thank you again for all your engagement and until next time, please be safe.